how much do you know about periods? Oh, wow. <laughs> you did not drop this on me. Well, OK, well. I'm the vagina. OK. You can put it in. Not too hard, nice and gently. Supposedly, we're more enlightened now, living in a better age of equality. But how much do guys really know about periods? I'm going to find out. So, first up, how much blood, on average, is lost during a period? On average? This. This one? Yes. It looks like quite a lot, doesn't it? Do you want to answer some questions about periods? Two pints? I'd imagine a lot. My ex used to moan a lot, so I'd imagine a lot. Is that a pint? Litres. Litres, easily. This one? Yeah. So about half of that, really. But... Which one? <laughs> that one. That's... The biggest? The biggest, yeah. It's actually this one. OK, cool. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to hold that for me? Not really. It's this one. No! Is that it? <laughs> yeah. Is that really? Yeah. All that fuss over that. So we give you all that sympathy for that. 30 to 40 millilitres of blood is lost during a period on average, but it can be more. Over 60 millilitres is classed as a heavy period. Next, do blokes understand why women bleed? The hormones in the body. Yeah? Um, is it like something to do with the... Ovo ovaries? Ovaries? Ovaries, yes, that's the word. Yeah. Why do periods happen? You have your, like, your period goes through your system, like every month, where you ovulate, yeah? And then uh, if it's not fertilised, and then because the lining builds up and the uterus. The lining of the uterus sheds, sheds and then it comes oh. out. Yeah. It's the lining of the uterus breaking down. What, what happens? I've been to a school for a long time, so I kind of forgot. So. Around every 28 days, an egg is released and at the same time a lining forms in the womb. If the egg isn't fertilised, the lining is discarded, passing out the vagina as blood. So finally, do guys understand the mechanics of using sanitary products? How does this work? That's obviously the new Apple eye earphone piece. I know, like, you pull that and, like, do they explode then it comes and out. in the air? <laughs> I don't know what that does. Actually, they're both panty liners. Oh, right. Oh, right. The, this is an applicator. Correct. Oh, no, I've got a sister and everything. And then I, I only assume you clench and suck. <laughs> <laughs> clench and suck, uh, girls, just yeah. so you know. Do you know what this is? Uh, I think, yeah, that's... I can't remember what it's called, but it's like a cup and it's like a replacement for a tampon. So what, the object of this exercise is I've, I've like... Inserted in the vagina. I haven't got a vagina to pull it in. <laughs> Well, I guess you would take that out and then just shove it in there, I don't know. I thought I knew, but I really don't. Wriggle it around slowly <laughs> and there, is it in? But then what about the plastic? But I'll pull that out at the end, won't I? Yeah. Then? That. Oh dear, and pull it. Take, oh. take three. I think that must absorb. When it's absorbed after a certain period of time, then it's pulled out. Inside. <laughs> And then, like, push it out. Go on. Oh, you know. Come on, you used to be an engineer. You can't hold that all day, can you? I mean, that's... What's that? I can't. I'm off this week. Yeah, a menstrual cycle. It's a menstrual cup. OK, explain that in English. So you go like this, you squeeze it together like that, mm -hmm. then you put it up, and then you let it expand, mm -hmm. and then it can gather all the blood in there and then you can take it out, pour it out, and put it back in. When we okay. go. Yep. Out. Yep. And then push. Ah. And then this hangs in and you can pull the plastic out and then you can pull this right, out. Right, got you, you when it's absorbed, what it needs to absorb. It's recommended to take tampons out every four to six hours to reduce the risk of toxic shock syndrome. Overall, the guys had a pretty good idea about why women have periods, but knew a little less about the practicalities.